What's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, with an unboxing video for you today. Another really, really cool gadget. It's an Ultimaker. So I finally got a 3D printer that can print PLA and ABS and a whole assortment of other shit. But uh, I just got it sent to me from, uh, let's see, where did it come from? It got shipped to Barnacles Nerdgasm by DHL. Uh, it's the assembled unit. And it looks like it came from the Netherlands. So I'm actually surprised at how fast it got here. Uh, those guys at Ultimaker are badass. I, I literally ordered it. They expedited the order. They even gave me a, a free spool of uh, PLA to do some demos for you guys for the channel. Uh, really cool bunch of guys. And I'm excited to now own one. So let's get this thing unboxed and take a look. Now normally you can buy these things uh, unassembled. That's how they normally come. But you can pay you can pay an additional price uh, to have them pre-assembled, which is what I want to do because I don't have the patience and the ADHD will not allow me to correctly assemble something with this many moving parts. Plus, this way I don't have to spend months trying to troubleshoot problems that stemmed from me trying to assemble it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Hopefully, you guys can get a good look at that on top. Imagine it, make it, that's their slogan, Ultimaker. Not to be confused with MakerBot. This is a whole different league. So I've got two spools of PLA. Got one silver spool here. You can see there. And then the free spool that they gave me of the orange PLA, which is exactly what I asked for. So that's really cool, guys. Thank you. Looks like I've got a power cable. It's got a, I think that's a standard type connector. It's not like a computer, but a little bit different. Pop this out. Got a box here. So far well packaged. So let's see, opening up the box. I have a little piece of wood here. Uh, don't quite know what it's for yet. I also have a power adapter. It's actually by light on. It looks almost like a laptop power supply. Uh, comes with some blue packing tape that you put down on the platform to print on so you don't have any trouble with it. It even came with a tool to assemble it and a USB cable. So that's what we got in there. Go ahead and set that aside. Okay. Okay, and here we have it. The assembled Ultimaker. Go ahead and get this out of the way. Looks like it got a little, little beat up in shipping. Hopefully everything's all right. Looks like, uh, well actually it looks like the platform was intentionally pinned down uh, for shipping, but you can see they did some test prints. I'll get some close up of these, but uh, the resolution on this printer is actually pretty damn awesome. And they were still fixed down, they didn't even move them. So these are the test prints that they did after calibrating the printer. Looks like they actually turned out pretty good. All right, so here's the printer. It's got some packing material in here and uh, a couple things out of place. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch their assembly video real quick. And then once I watch the assembly video, well, it's actually not the assembly, it's their unboxing video. I just wanna make sure that I get this thing all taken apart and put together right. So I'll be right back. Well, unfortunately, guys, in shipping, there was a little damage. The data cable got ripped out of the controller right here. And the platform was dislodged and stuck up under the print head. Um, it doesn't look like it did any damage up there. It just uh, it just moved around during shipping. Might have got scratched up a little bit on the bottom. 
Um, so, yeah, that looks like that looks like that that part's fine. Uh, but you know, I don't hold Ultimaker responsible for this at all. This is just DHL just manhandling it. It was packaged well. Uh, just obviously they like to kick it around a little bit. Um, other than that, everything seems to look pretty good. I'll inspect it and see if there's any other damage um, once I fix this data cable down here. But for the most part, I think we're all right. So guys, that wasn't my most perfect unboxing video ever. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start seeing if I can fix this data cable issue. And if I can, we'll get started on the video of actually using it and printing with it. But I wanted to, I wanted to create just a dedicated unboxing video because I was pretty excited to receive this and still am. Just a little bit of a bummer that that data cable broke in shipping. Um, but hopefully it'll be a somewhat easy fix. We'll find out. All right, guys, well, it's been a few days since I've done the unboxing, but I wanted to include this in the unboxing video. I was able to repair everything, and the printer absolutely works great. So I contacted Ultimaker. They have the best tech support of any company I've probably ever dealt with, and they already sent out replacement parts for... There was a couple... There was a screw missing um, in one spot. There's a bent, there was a bent little thing on the platform here. They're going to send me a replacement for that. Just another screw, basically. And they're going to send me a replacement ribbon cable for the controller, even though I was able to fix it. I just salvaged the old connector. That's what I like about ribbon cables. You just chop them off and reuse them. And the printer absolutely works wonderfully. Um, you can even see here, I've even printed out parts to upgrade it already. So this right here is an upgraded part to cover the parts on the top. And then I've already printed some belt tensioners. You can see right here. So... The printer is absolutely amazing. It's probably the coolest thing I own. Even cooler than these giant 46 inch monitors that used to define the man cave. I think this is the new man cave definition right here. So move over old printers, you've been replaced. Except for I don't think I wanna print my taxes in 3D, so I'll still hang on to you. But that, that's my new baby. All right guys, I'll get some videos up of me actually printing stuff on it and using it, but uh, this should conclude the unboxing. So thanks again for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. Take it easy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.